This video is sponsored by CuriosityStream. If you've watched my cover of Sultans of Swing with my friend Josh Turner, you might have noticed my custom-made Fiesta Red Marsu guitar. Tom Marsu founded Marsu Guitars in 2008 and has made over 400 custom guitars for musicians like me. They have a workshop in Beton, a small commune in the Brittany region of France, run by Tom and his staff of three luthiers. Tom and his team were very kind to film the making process, so if you're interested in how guitars are made, this is how it's done. However, this is a shortened version. There were hours of footage, and there is, of course, an extended two-hour version over on Nebula. But let's take a look. Section one, the body. After the wood for the guitar body has been selected, the first part of the process is to cut it on a circular saw and then send it through the planer. Here, we're using alder. As the body will be a two-piece, the two sections are glued together and clamped before being planed again. They use a stencil so the wood can be lined up precisely. The body shape is machine cut to the exact design and the cavities for the pickups, electrics and bridge are milled out. Section two, the neck. In a similar process to the body, the wood for the neck is selected. We're using flamed maple, then cut and planed before being machine cut. The area for the truss rod is also milled out. The fingerboard is cut out on the bandsaw and also planed. Using computer-aided design, the signature that will be inlaid over the 12th fret is lined up and checked. The computer then runs a quick simulation of how it will be cut out by the milling machine. The fret grooves, truss rod cover, inlay dots, and signature inlay are all machine milled. Section three, the fingerboard. Magnets for the truss rod cover are hammered in by hand and the cover itself is then cut and fitted. The side dots are marked and milled before being added, cut and glued into place. To avoid vibrations, a sheath for the truss rod is applied and heat shrunk before being inserted into the neck and hammered into place. Glue is applied and the fingerboard is pinned down and then clamped to make sure it remains secure. Once dry, the neck with the newly attached fingerboard is then shaped by the milling machine. Section four, finishing the body. Meanwhile, work continues on the guitar's body. It's hand sanded, being drilled for the wiring and strappings. The neck joint is then taped off and a metal tube drilled in so the body can be hung up for taking into the spray booth. Clear layer lacquer is applied and then sanded again. It's now ready to be painted. First off, a base layer of white. Once that's done and dusted, the Fiesta Red Nitro Cellulose lacquer is applied and then left to dry. The newly lacquered body is now lightly sanded down with wet and dry. The shielding for the electrics is machine cut and then added into the control and pickup cavities. Section five, finishing the neck. Resin is applied by hand to the inlays on the fingerboard before being pressed in by machine.
Then there's some more sanding before work can begin on the frets. The fingerboard radius is measured up, checked and lightly sanded before the fret wire is added and pushed into place. The fret edges are then clipped and sanded down. A combination of different tools are now used to shape and sand the newly fretted neck until it's perfect. Frets are then carefully masked off. The neck is now ready for some lacquer. The first layer of neck lacquer is added before the decals for the headstock are printed out. The Marceau logo is added to the front and Made in France added to the back. Once added, it's buffed before being taken back to the spray booth where the neck is treated with a vintage tint lacquer. Section six, pickguard and pickups. Next up, the mint green pickguard is machine cut and its edges beveled before being finished by hand. Shielding is added to the back. The wiring for the pots and switch are then soldered together. Now work begins on the single coil pickups. The metal slugs are added, clamped and glued. The pole pieces are magnetized. Then each pickup is custom wound. Wires are soldered on and then the pickup is wax potted. This is a process where the pickup is soaked in wax to reduce movement within the pickup, isolating the components to make them less noisy and more reliable. Section seven, finishing the frets. The newly lacquered neck and body are checked by the luthiers for any final adjustments before work continues on the fret finishing. The fingerboard is taped off and the fret edges are hand rolled and buffed to remove any sharp points and to give a more played in feel. Section eight, relicking. First off, the body is taken to be sandblasted. Tiny particles are shot at the guitar using high pressure compressed air. Then there is a process of freezing the lacquer and tapping it with a screwdriver. Nitrous cellulose is incredibly susceptible to temperature change and this causes small cracks in the lacquer to appear in a process called checking. This can be seen on most old nitro finished guitars from the 50s and 60s. Next up, a buffing wheel is used to remove the finish in areas on the body that will see the most wear and tear over time. Various chips and dings are added by hand to give the illusion of an instrument that has been knocked about on stage for 20 years. The buffing wheel is also used on the neck to give a worn in look and feel to the areas that normally see the most action, the fingerboard and the back of the neck. Shiny new hardware would look a little out of place on a relict guitar, so it's aged in a corrosive bath.
final step is to scratch and age the tone and volume knobs with a scalpel, even going as far as removing some of the lettering. Nice touch. Section 9, Assembly. It's time for the penultimate stage, assembly of the guitar. First up, the tuners are added to the headstock. Guide holes are then drilled for the pickguard and the bridge mounts fitted. The block and tension springs are added. The wired up pickguard is fitted and the jack socket soldered and grounded. Pickup wiring is then tested before everything is screwed together. Section 10, nut and final adjustments. Some adjustments are made to the bridge before work on the nut starts. A piece of bone is fitted into the nut slot before being cut and shaped. The grooves for the strings are cut and filed. The nut is then fitted to the guitar. Next, the strings are put on and the string separators added to the front of the headstock. Any last adjustments are made and the action is set. The guitar is now finished and ready to play, with a final minor adjustment to the pickup height to get it just right. Looking good, and damn does it sound good too. Check out Sultans of Swing if you haven't already, but more videos on the way. A big thank you to Tom and everyone at Marsu Guitars for this truly beautiful instrument. You can check them out at marsuguitars.com and on the usual social media in the links below. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them at work. If you'd like to see more, there's a two hour version of this video available over on Nebula. Nebula is a creator owned streaming service. I've got all my videos there, plus long form videos that wouldn't work on YouTube, exclusive behind the scenes content, studio diaries, making of videos and more, including my full length documentary, The Making of Songbook. Plenty of other creators like Adam Neely, Charles Cornell and Amy Nolte are also on Nebula, sharing their own exclusive content. It's full of great videos, ad-free, and you help me and other creators keep doing what we're doing too. Sign up using the link in the description. The best way to access Nebula is to sign up to a subscription for CuriosityStream. CuriosityStream is the perfect place to access thousands of high quality documentaries like Food Markets, a 10 part series that explores the great food markets of Europe. Immerse yourself in a world of black truffles from Toulouse, cured meats from Vienna, or the finest olive oil from Tuscany in this mouth-watering food journey. I really loved it. Go to curiositystream.com forward slash Mary Spender and sign up and you'll also get a free subscription to Nebula. That's access to both for less than $15 a year. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you very, very soon. <laughs>